Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix keyboard not working on laptop. There can be several reasons why a keyboard might not be working as expected. Some of the most common reasons are Number 1. Outdated, corrupted or missing keyboard drivers can lead to malfunctioning keys. Number 2. Sometimes software conflicts or glitches can cause the keyboard to stop responding. Number 3. Incompatibility or corruption within the operating system can affect keyboard functionality. Number 4. Incorrect BIOS settings such as disabled keyboard support can prevent the keyboard from working before the operating system loads. Number 5. Sometimes accidentally enabling features like sticky keys or filter keys can lead to keyboard issue. Number 6. Some laptops have hardware switches or key combinations that can disable the keyboard for security reasons. Number 7. Spilling liquids onto the keyboard can lead to keys becoming unresponsive. Number 8. Sometimes new driver updates can introduce compatibility issues. Number 9. If your system crashes or freezes, it might affect the keyboard's functionality temporarily. Number 10. If the keyboard is loose or improperly connected. Number 11. Keyboards like any hardware component can fail over time. Physical damage wear and tear or manufacturing defects can lead to keyboard failures. And number 12. In some cases, the keyboard itself might be defective and require replacement. However, it can be frustrating when your keyboard suddenly stops responding. Don't worry. In this video, we will walk you through a detailed solution to get your laptop keyboard back in action. So let's get started. At first, check either a button above or around the keyboard or a function combo key to enable and disable the keyboard. If your laptop has this feature, then just press the button or function combo key to turn the keyboard on. If you are lucky, then this simple method may help you to solve your problem. A straightforward yet effective approach is to initiate a system restart which can rectify minor software glitches causing keyboard malfunction. Restart your laptop following standard procedures. Prioritize saving your work to prevent potential data loss. After that, check once, hopefully your problem will be solved. If you think that keyboard is not working problem due to old version of keyboard driver, then at first connect your laptop with the internet connection. Next, go to Device Manager by right-click on Windows Start icon. Next, expand the Keyboard's Devices directory. Then select and right-click on your keyboard's driver and click on Update Device Driver. Next, just click on Search Automatically for Updated Driver Software. Then you should see downloading the necessary device driver software. Keep patience while Windows have successfully updated your drivers. Once done, just restart once. After that, hopefully your problem will be resolved. If not solved, then go to Task Manager. Click on Startup option. Now look carefully for keyboard apps from here. And right click on it to enable if it's disabled. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If still not solve your problem, then you will need an external keyboard to access your PC's BIOS. Now restart your laptop and be ready to enter your PC's BIOS with hitting on F2 key. Next, find keyboard settings. If your laptop's BIOS has this feature, then just enable the touchpad from here. Now just press F10 key on the keyboard. Or go to exit menu and then hit enter to saving changes and exit from BIOS as you can see. If all of these methods are not working for you, then you will need a driver's installation media like CD or DVD or USB flash drive that came with your laptop when you bought your laptop. Now just install the keyboard driver software from that as you can see. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If not solved, then go to Device Manager by right-click on Windows Start icon. Next, expand the Keyboard Devices directory. Select and right-click on your keyboard's driver. And click on Uninstall Device Driver. Once done, just restart your laptop. After that, hopefully your problem will be resolved.
First, go to Device Manager by right click on Windows Start icon. Next, expand the keyboard devices directory. Then, select your touchpad driver and just right click on it. Then, click on Update Driver. Next, choose the option Browse my computer for driver software. Then, select the option Let me pick from a list of device drivers on my computer. Next, select the manufacturer and model of your hardware device. Then, click on Next. As you can see, status shows that Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Then click on close. Alright, now just restart once. After that, hopefully your problem will be resolved. Shut down your laptop and unplug any connected cables or peripherals. Carefully turn your laptop upside down. Use your Phillips head screwdriver to carefully remove the screws. Disconnect the speaker's wire from its connector. Gently open the back panel. Be cautious not to apply excessive force to avoid damaging the panel or components inside. Once the back panel is removed, look for the keyboard connector. This connector links the keyboard to the laptop's motherboard. It will be a flat, ribbon-like cable connected to a port on the motherboard. Inspect the keyboard connector to ensure it's securely seated in the port on the motherboard. If it appears loose or partially disconnected, it may be the cause of the keyboard issue. If the connector seems loose, carefully push it back into the port on the motherboard. Ensure it's properly aligned and fully inserted. You may hear a gently click when it's securely connected. Or you can gently use the white eraser to clean the keyboard connector. Use light pressure and a back and forth motion. This can help to remove any oxidation, dirt or debris that might be affecting the connection. After using the eraser, gently blow away any eraser residue or debris. Carefully push it back into the port on the motherboard. Ensure it's properly aligned and fully inserted. You may hear a gently click when it's securely connected. Gently close the back panel, make sure all the edges align properly before applying pressure. Carefully screw the back panel back into place using the screw you removed earlier. Tighten them evenly but don't over tighten to avoid damaging the threads. Power on your laptop and test the keyboard to see if it's now responsive. Check multiple keys to ensure the entire keyboard is functioning as expected and hopefully your problem will be solved. So I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide then please let us know. Please like, comment, share. We need your support. And guys please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Okay as you can see our keyboard is now working properly.